What is up everyone? It's your boy Ashley Plays, formerly known as Punch the Pride. So welcome back to the channel. So you, you, you may be thinking like, another vlog, no Detroit become human. I have got at least three or four episodes lined up for you guys. I just wanted to come on to let you guys know what I'm thinking. Uh, I think quite a lot of stuff right now is something that I just want to talk to you guys about. So, one of them is actually how would you guys feel about Happy Wheels? Because a lot of people say that I should be playing Happy Wheels. It's something really, really new, I think. And it'd be, it'd be, it'd be a different video, and it could be a continuous uh, a let's play. Well, not let's play, like. We can make unlimited episodes of it, like, you know, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, something to kind of build my channel up. So, I've been thinking, obviously I can into the YouTube picture really, really late, and yeah, it, it, it is hard to kind of get into YouTube and grab an audience. I'm willing to invest in my channel. Uh, that's how serious I am, like, uh, that's how you know I'm not going away, um, I have said this in the past, possibly, but, I'm willing to invest, um, because it only makes sense, if I want to take it seriously, I need to invest, I think, it also, it won't be too much, it'd be at least boost my videos out there, and everything, but obviously, as I always say, let me know in the comment section what you want to see. Like, we did Saturday nights with Punch the Pride at one point. Then it could, like, we could do it one day a week where we just do something completely random. I, I don't mind. I'm always down for what you guys want me to do. So after Detroit, what's next? Um, I want to finish Heavy Rain, I think. Because it's a game that you know, people have been asked me to finish. People want me to play Uncharted. Boy Scholarship Edition. Yeah, I'm going to make a poll. Instagram or Twitter. Then see what you guys think should be next. Well, the video that went up yesterday of the montage. It was pretty much a throwback video more than a funny montage. And I couldn't call it funny and everything. But it was... It's when I first started out and I, I really, I really, I really did enjoy those days because I was starting out, I was doing it for fun and, you know, I've not really done much with my channel since, but hopefully from now on it should be further progress. problem I have is I kind of lose faith, I think, and I go through a downhill of um, mental health depression and I kind of just stopped making videos but now I know I've got people supporting me with this now and I feel like I can make this go a long way if I if that support keeps coming through. I have a lot of people that want to do gaming collabs as well and it really helps me it boosts my confidence up and the old me is going to come out and show a bit more now where I feel like I was at to my best. But a lot of people want to do collabs and it just makes me feel like people want to do collabs with me because they might think I'm pretty good making videos. I can also edit a bunch of videos. Obviously right now I can't edit videos for anyone else because it is a handful editing my own, especially when I'm editing at least like three videos a day for YouTube. And when I don't, you know, you just get a standard apology video but I put myself on a wheel where the only time I take off is where I need it when it's like a week off or maybe a few days but like I said I enjoy making these videos and hopefully we shouldn't come to a stand where I stop so where's my future hold right now um plan is maybe to move to Sweden one day. I want to move to Sweden because I know the language and 
you know, it could be really cool, it would be a different atmosphere, and I'd really like to do that. And, you know, do I ever see YouTube setting up? I do, and I don't. I feel like if I keep doing what I have done in the past, where I make videos for a few weeks, then go away. But if I was to continue like I did when I first started, like constantly, because I was consistent for ages. I was consistent for at least seven months, then I disappeared. But if I was to do that consistently, for as long as I can, I, I believe, I believe I can take YouTube somewhere. It's never been about money with YouTube. It's always been about being popular for once. If you, if you guys are with me, it's all about growing a big audience and making yourself feel something. Making yourself feel like you're important to some people. The same with Twitch, it's all about growing an audience and just immersing the audience and just having that feeling where you know you've got a fan base obviously i get the one or two hate comments every so often but to me they mean nothing because most of the videos like i put out there get likes maybe a few dislikes but it doesn't mind it doesn't bother me for now one guy i promise i'm gonna do my best and get you the best content funny content gaming videos and more like I'm, I'm gonna be consistent and yeah i missed one day this week uploading that's because i was out all day so i didn't, didn't really have time before anyone says i do plan to get a haircut really soon it's really long now a lot longer than when i first started but i will be getting a haircut soon i really just want to record and you know give you guys content because i feel bad otherwise but anyway guys i'm gonna leave this video here i hope you all enjoyed this is me to see what, what's to come happy wheels coming up uh for consistency and plenty of dedication and i'm going to invest in my channel a lot more than i have been so that means i'll probably be using google ads Yes, you do have to pay for it, but I'm going to invest in the channel and grab a big audience. Anyway guys, I'll see you soon.